Hey there, Mouseketeers! Princess Minnie or Kate here, and it's a favorites video! Yay! Um, this is one of my favorite kind of videos to film for you guys, and if you are a returning subscriber, then you may well know that I just bring you my favorite Disney and non-Disney favorites for the past month or so. And if you're a new subscriber, then welcome to the channel! And I hope you like what you see, that you'll give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below because I do love connecting with you guys in the comments. I want to give a subscriber shout out today to someone who loves these videos, and that is Julie Presley. And Julie, thank you so much. You are a real Mouseketeer for sure, Julie. Thanks for being an awesome subscriber and friend. I have a ton of things to share with you today. I do want to mention that I started out this year um, in January, I believe, doing these favorites of the month videos, but I've kind of realized that it's not something that's feasible to do every single month for me personally. Um, so I'm planning for the most part, unless I guess I have a month that I just get slammed with amazing things, um, that I'm going to do these every other month. So this is going to be my favorites for June and July. I'm going to start with something that was in the thumbnail because you've already seen it, and it is not the only little green man thing in today's video, but it is one of my favorite things of all time. I have been looking for an alien plushie for literal years. I have other alien things. Um, the closest I came was an alien that was kind of soft, but he also like shook and said things, so he was a little bit hard. This is just a complete plushy here. He's very squeezable. Yeah, he's saying yes, yes, he, I am. I love it. And I was so excited. And he comes with an alien blanket, which I don't actually know exactly what it looks like because I wanted to show you guys him in his original form. And this came out because of Toy Story 4 coming out, the Toy Story 4 tag here. And this I actually found at FYE. I don't know if I can find a link for this. Typically what I do for all of these videos is I put links to everything I possibly can in the description box below. But in case he's not available on their website, I will let you know I, just, I got him at an FYE at my local mall, so you may be able to do that or go in and ask them if they still have this. Um, but I will snip this blanket off and show you after I give you a close-up of him in his original form. And I do just want to mention that I am not sponsored by anything in any of these videos. If I ever am one day, I'll let you know, but I don't, I, with all those links down below, I don't make a single cent. Those com these companies have no idea. I'm talking about how much I love their products. So I hope you feel good knowing this is a complete honest review of everything that I've loved for the past two months. And here's my little cuddly friend, the alien. Oh my gosh, he's definitely going to be one of my new favorite plushies. Uh, without his blanket, he has this super cute Pizza Planet uniform, of course. And let's take a look at what the blanket looks like unrolled. Oh my god, it's so perfect. It is just an endless sea of Toy Story alien faces. Oh my goodness gracious. It's nice and large. It really covers most of my body. It's not the warmest blanket, but I think this will be perfect for like a light summer, spring, or fall blanket. It's probably not going to be enough for winter, but maybe if you keep like a blanket in your car for winter, this could be enough for that. Okay, the second alien thing I have to show you is something that as soon as I saw it in the store, it was mine. And I'm someone who kind of, I go back and forth with if I'm going to purchase something or not, especially if it's a higher ticket item like this. This is probably about $45 or so. But this was a no-brainer for me. I went to a box lunch store and grabbed it. It is definitely, if you had to say what is my favorite thing I've gotten in the last maybe like a year or so, especially just from the mall, it's got to be this. And I, I know it's summertime and here in Philadelphia we've been experiencing a heat wave, but I still have been wearing this. I, I, keep, I spend a lot of money on air conditioning. I, um, I, I have no shame about that. Um, but I still will wear this just because it's so cozy. Oh, and it's also really good to take to the movie theater. But wait, there's more. So their faces are obviously on the front. And I love how it looks like almost like a chorus line of aliens. But on the back, it's their backsides! <laughs> I love this so 
much. And we're going to Disney for Thanksgiving, so I'm actually hoping there'll be a little chill in the air so I could actually wear this one night to Hollywood Studios. Might not happen. I know I've been before in mid-December and it was like sundresses all week, but I've been in January also when I needed full winter gear, so you never know. Okay, so that was my last Toy Story alien piece of merchandise I have to share with you. I'm sad about that too. Uh, but I do have, I think, three other box lunch things to show you. The first is actually the shirt I'm wearing, and so I'll give you a close-up of that in a second. But I love, love, love this shirt. It, uh, first of all, I'm a tank top addict. Again, I will wear these when it is seasonally inappropriate and just throw on something on top of my shoulders. Um, but this I bought right before our trip to Disney World and I wore it two of the days because it was just so perfect and comfortable and uh, I also had my brother-in-law who was amazingly responsible and did laundry midway through the trip so it wasn't gross the second time, don't worry. <laughs> And so it is this super flowy black tank. <laughs> Ignore the clash with the blue shorts. You guys don't usually see what I'm wearing on the bottom, so don't worry about it. <laughs> um, but of course it's a Milan reference! And there's not enough of those, especially with the least Shang on it. So I had, had to get that. Plus I think I bought it at the same time I got the sweatshirt. And there was a deal if you bought two pieces of apparel at the same time on the second one. So I definitely got a discount on this. The next thing I've been dying to show you guys, it's one of my other favorite Disney sidekicks. It's Miko themed. And it is just this um, little like card holder. And it's lounge fly. The colors are just perfection to me. It's a little sophisticated for what it is. And I do not like to carry big wallets. I used to, and now I'm just like down to the bare necessities. So like I have my credit card, my debit card, um, Maybe like my nail salon card has like your, you know, if you get 10, if you get your nails done 10 times, you get like a $10 discount on the last one or something. My ID, obviously. I don't carry much with me. And I think that this is a great space saver in your purse. So I am so excited to find, I've had this for months, I feel like, or probably since the beginning of June. And I've been dying to share this with you guys so I could actually start using it. This is a great money saver over a wallet as well. This was only $15. And you know, wallets at Disney, especially if they're lounge fly, they could run you 50. So I will definitely take my little card holder over a big wallet any day. Also, it's kind of, I know it's like way too early to be thinking about this, but not if you're me. This would be a great stocking stuffer size thing for anyone. And the last box lunch item I have to share with you today is not Disney related, but Harry Potter related. It's something I had my eye on forever, but I waited for it to go on sale. So hopefully it's still available on sale and you can snag one too. And if you love this, please let me know because I'm completely, completely obsessed with it. It is a little cosmetics case and it's just so beautiful. It's like hollow, right? Holographic. And it's like a train ticket. It says London to Hogwarts. And I have to be honest, I have used this already as like a clutch to a fancy event. So you can easily just kind of carry it like this. You just stick your, it's, it's, it's big enough to hold your phone, your, not a wallet, but your, you know, Miko money clip <laughs> or credit card holder. And you know, just maybe a lip gloss, something else like that. It's pretty spacious. I don't see myself actually using this as a cosmetics case. I actually think I'm gonna mostly use it as decor and a really fancy clutch. The next couple of items I have to share with you are actually related to beauty and skincare. So the first one I'm going to show you is my 
like the, the sunscreen I swear by. So first of all, everyone out there should be wearing sunscreen. Skin cancer is no joke. And especially as someone with very fair skin, this is me tanned guys. This is me from out in the sun all summer. It is what it is. <laughs> um, and you know, no, I don't, don't worry. You don't have to worry that I have like a complex about that. I don't. Um, but I always burn. My entire life I've had traumatic sunburns. Like I'm talking crying, screaming, painful, I want to go to the ER sunburns. My skin reacts very badly to being in the sun so I try not to do it as much as possible. This has saved my life and I really don't want to sound overly dramatic but seriously I've never ever once gotten a sunburn wearing this sunscreen. Never. It's never happened. Now if I get cocky and forget to apply it yeah, that's happened. <laughs> but it is called Australian Gold. And I think the first time I ever bought it, I actually got it at Disney, I think. Um, but I haven't been able to find it there since. So I actually buy it on Amazon. And it is phenomenal. It smells great. It goes on really nicely. They also have it available in a spray. So we took, what I would do on vacation is I put this on every morning all over you know wherever the sun's gonna hit like my shoulders my face etc then I do my makeup and then John would carry the spray version in his bag and I'd spray maybe around like 11 o'clock or so so this can honestly save you so much hurt and heartbreak especially on vacation when you want to take those great photos but now you're red as a lobster don't do it get Australian gold this happens to be 50 SPF um, I've heard over a certain point going higher and higher is just kind of pointless. I found that 50 is absolutely fine for me and I'm pretty much one of the palest people that you know most likely. Um, but I think I've used a few different ranges of their SPF. I kind of just grab whatever I see on Amazon at the time. And this is usually like an add-on item for Amazon for shipping purposes if I have any other Prime fans out there. But uh, I usually have no, no problem making that minimum purchase on Amazon. The next thing I want to show you is something that has saved me so much time in my beauty routine. If you can't tell, I like a really dramatic black liner. I do not do this every day. I pretty much do liner Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't do it for work. I work with little kids. They don't care. They, they do not care what I look like. So um, it, I don't worry about doing it during the week unless I'm going out. But I will do it on the weekends and anytime I film I typically do a heavy black liner. I also love it for the parks. But it used to take me forever to do the wing. So one of my friends, Jess, shout out Jess, she got um, a wing stamp and I thought that looks great. Every time I'd see it on her I have to have to have to get that. And I finally bit the bullet and got myself a wing liner. This one is phenomenal. It's not what I've tried but I swear by it. I love it so much. It's just called wing liner st stamp and when you purchase it it comes with a right pen and a left pen that might be reversed for you and one side is the stamp for the wing of your eyeliner and the other side is a pen that you could use to do the rest of the liner I actually only use the stamp I only use the stamp um, I use my Stila eyeliner that I um, I think it's Stila stay all day that I get Sephora, I showed that in a previous favorites video. I use that actually to go over the wing just to make it a little bit darker and make sure it stays all day. And then I, that's how I finish off the rest of the liner and it has honestly taken my eyeliner routine from maybe 15 plus minutes and more if I screw it up to three or less, probably less. And I will say, yes, I was pretty practiced at doing my wing for a while but I mastered how to use these. For the most part, I still kind of screwed up a little bit, but that's only because this eye is actually slightly higher than this eye, so the wit, like the stamp has to sit differently on my eyes, and I forget that sometimes. Um, <laughs> see, we all have weird flaws. <laughs> but I mastered how to use this almost immediately, so don't be fearful that it's going to be really difficult. You can do this, and I definitely can link this on, I bought these on Amazon, so I definitely will be able to link these down below. I'm actually gonna buy this again. They had three sizes of stamp. They had like a small one, a medium, and a large. Can you guess which one I got? large of course but I think I'd like the medium one for even maybe an everyday look that I could wear to work if I want to start looking a little more polished
And so far, these have been lasting a really, really long time, so you can feel pretty good about them not running out quickly. I should probably order a backup pair just for when that happens. Hey guys, I know I'm really close to the camera, but I thought you might want to actually see up close what it looks like. And now let's talk about, on the flip side of putting makeup on your face, taking it off. Which, I used to use makeup wipes, and they were great, and I loved the way they smelled, but I hated how much money I was spending on them. And I also hated how there's just so much trash. And I also hated how like most of the ones I would use were resealable, but by the time you got down to the last couple, they were pretty dried out. So I actually looked for what I, else I could use, and I came out, out with the knowledge of the Miracle Face Erase Cloth. And again, this is another Amazon product, and so I definitely will link this below because it has been a life changer for me. They have it in three different colors, purple, this vibrant pink, I've gotten the purple too before it's nice, and I think like a black or a gray, but I did not choose the black or the gray, and I eventually switched to this pink because I really wanted to see the makeup come off on here, just to make sure, like if I use this in the shower, I got it all off and no more was coming off my face. It has a side labeled erase and a side labeled exfoliate so you can exfoliate your skin after erasing your makeup. I will not tell, and I can't demonstrate it right now because I have more videos to film after this, so I need my eyeliner to be strong. But as you might know, that, I, that, that eyeliner, that's tough to get off. It's supposed to stay all day, right? So it's tough to get off. It's annoying, it's obnoxious. And I use a setting spray, which is supposed to make it stay even longer. So this has been a godsend for me at night. Like I said, I mostly just keep it in the shower. It actually does come with a nice little hook, so you could pop like um, a command strip. They make them for the shower in your shower and hang it. So I just get lazy, honestly, and I just hang it over the shower curtain rod. No worries. Um, pretty, you know, pretty easy going, honestly. And I don't want to exaggerate and say it's like when Mulan uses her sleeve to erase half her face, but it's as close to that as I think you can get. If I'm not wearing eyeliner, you know, a couple swipes on my face, the makeup's gone. If I am, I have to just work on my eye a little bit more, but it's not an issue and it works great. I will also mention this is not that expensive and it comes with two of these. So, you know, if there are two people in your household who want to use it, one will do for both of you. You just throw these in the washer with your towels and it comes up perfectly clean. And I also think this would make a great stocking stuffer or Christmas present for someone as well, or birthday present. And they also are nice enough to throw in some hair ties because they think you might want to tie your hair up and then wash your face off, which I thought was a great touch. Three more things to share with you today. The first is something that a few people have commented on in prior videos, and that is this amazing Disney themed headband that I bought from an amazing girl named Katie on Instagram. Again, her Instagram will be down in the description box below. It's beautiful, and she makes these in a lot of different styles, and they are very reasonably priced, very reasonably priced. Um, plus, I know that she normally kind of just makes a few and then sells them in a large batch. At least that's how she started out when I bought this about two months ago. But I told her I needed two and she had no problem quickly whipping me up a second one. So she has great customer service as well. And again, her prices were so great. I think this was like $12 or something. And it's such great fabric. I know she's done a Haunted Mansion one, several other themes. She also does shirts, like Disney she themed shirts as well as ears. So she's a shop that you should definitely know. And um, I bought myself and my sister one to match when we went to Disney World. The final Disney themed product in this haul is a game that you may have seen other YouTubers also show on their channel. It is called Color Brain. And I will say the company did send me this free of charge. 
and I have to admit I thought I really wasn't gonna be impressed so sorry to say that but I was so I'm so happy to say that I thought that this game seemed really easy Ugh. it's not it's such a challenge it's so fun and it's really amazing we've played it several times and I could not wait to share it with you in this kind of video so again it's called color brain and y'all one thing I will say it's slightly misleading is it says well it does say 20 minutes to play it can go even faster than that and so it's great if you have kids who don't want to sit through a game for a while it says eight plus um, and we did play it the youngest person being my niece who was eight so that was that worked out well but I think a younger kid especially if they're on a team with like their parent could absolutely handle this and probably really enjoy it and it says two to 20 players we always played with four and if you don't want to have teams four is actually the true max but if you are cool with having teams you can sh surely do I mean as many people as you wanted but there would only be a maximum of four teams so just in case um, you don't know how to play this game and you're interested in figuring out a little bit more about it it's so much fun again I thought it was gonna be really easy but they give you a character from Disney and they ask you what color something is related to that character and they also tell you how many colors you need to say and they give you corresponding color cards that you can put down as your answer secretly uh, from the other players so I thought this would be so easy like what colors are flounder, right? Two colors. Or what color is Ariel's hair? You know, I thought it was gonna be so easy. No, there were so many of these we were like, uh, and it's like all Disney movies too. Like I just saw, I don't have it here, but one of the cards I just saw was from Chicken Little. The one first I'll show you is from Beauty and the Beast. I don't know the answer to this. I have two guesses, but they could both be wrong. <laughs> So what color is the wardrobe's eyeshadow? And they tell you it's one color and it's from Beauty and the Beast. And the game is as simple as you pick one color from your hand and put it down. And then when everyone's colors are in, you flip it over and you award points. I gotta admit guys, even though I love the wardrobe, her eyeshadow color is not something I've memorized. I'm thinking maybe it's green or purple because I feel like those are some, you know, important colors for her. Let's find out together. Oh my gosh, it's blue. Of course it's blue. I guess I was thinking of that as purple and then here's that green I was thinking about for her too. Um, it's so funny, that's like what the whole game is. Like you convince yourself that your color is correct in your brain and no, it's oftentimes not. And this was kind of on the easier side because it was only one color. They get up to three different colors that you have to guess. Let's see if we can find any other fun ones. Oh my God, dude, there's four. There was four. Okay, Olaf the snowman from Frozen, he has four colors. Well, white, orange, black. Those are the only three colors I can think of for Olaf. Blue? Oh, right, his sticks. I just said blue because I couldn't think of another one. I forgot about his sticks. So we do have white, brown, black, and orange. See, this game is so fun. And I think for adults, this could also make a fun drinking game. Get it wrong, take a drink. So I highly recommend Color Brain for adults only or for the whole family. It's so great. And I can't believe how much we loved it. And the final thing I want to share with you is a novel. And I just want to say mine comes in like library, like a library jacket, but I actually got it at a used bookstore. So I guess the library donated to this bookstore and I got it for a very cheap price. I will try to find it for you on Amazon and link it below. But this is called Fitness Junkie. And that for me, it's like the title, right? Like if I see a title, it stands out to me. I'm like, let me see what this is all about. And I loved this book. I had no idea where it was going, but let me tell you a little bit about it. It says, Janie Sweet's boss is deathly afraid of fat people. And when Janie gains a little weight following her divorce, he gives her an ultimatum. Lose 30 pounds or lose your job. And I will let you know that that sounds crazy ridiculous, and it is, but they are in the fashion industry, so I think that's why he felt he could give her that ultimatum. So I definitely don't agree with that ultimatum. I'm just trying to give you the backstory of why it happens that they don't tell you on the book jacket. And the, the thing is, this book is really funny. And the point, but it does have a good plot as well. Um, a little bit of mystery in there, but mostly it's about how people will go to absolutely insane depths 
to lose weight. Like how it consumes people. Um, the main character, her friend, does like all these radical diets. Like one, she eats only clay. And I think that's a real thing. And another one, she um, eats only white foods. So there, it's, it's really like a lot of jokes. Um, I can maybe see how people who have previously had eating disorders or exercise um, disorders may be triggered by this, but if that's not you and you just kind of want to laugh and a great story, this is phenomenal. And just to give you even a little bit more information about it, I'll read you one of the uh, reviews on the back of the book. It says, I laughed out loud reading Fitness Junkie, which serves a heaping helping of hilarious satire. That's the word I was trying to think of. It's definitely satirical. Profiling the step-counting, calorie-obsessed New Yorkers, who, no hate to New Yorkers, but that is where the book takes place, who fill the cronut-shaped holes in their souls with workouts. So it definitely is fun. It's not trying to really poke fun at anyone in particular. It's just a light-hearted look at the obsession with food and working out in our culture, especially the culture of the uber wealthy in Manhattan. So there you go guys. I think that was like 11 plus things of my favorites from June and July. I really loved all of these things and I hope you'll let me know which were your favorites. Was it the alien sweatshirt? Was it the Disney naughty headband? The Miko card holder? Was it the Hogwarts cosmetic bag that I'm going to use as a clutch? Was it that book that I just shared with you? And let me know what kind of things you'd like to see. Would you like to see more book recommendations? Would you like to see more clothing recommendations? Would you like to see more small shop recommendations, more box lunch hauls, etc.? Let me know so I can actually provide the kind of content you guys would enjoy seeing. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment and like this video if you found something here you liked and make sure you're subscribed for future videos. Thank you so, so much, and I'll see you real soon.